many of you know, I absolutely love my 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands. This is the coolest vehicle that I've ever owned. It is incredibly powerful. It is incredibly comfortable. It will take you places that you couldn't otherwise go. It'll take you places that are really rough and rocky and muddy, and you'll go through them and say, well, that really wasn't that bad. But then you'll try to take another vehicle through the same place this Bronco went, and then you'll really understand the, the engineering that went into them. That being said, there is one thing that I absolutely cannot stand about this Ford Bronco. And it's not the lack of trunk space or the fact that the seats don't slide all the way forward, enabling passengers to get in the back uh, more easily. It's not any of that. It's not the ride quality. It's, it's none of that. It is the most simplest of concepts. Something that will just drive you bonkers that could have easily been rectified. What's the problem, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. This thing is so hard to clean that if you take it in the mud one time, it will never ever look the same. You will consider never going in the mud again, which is very unfortunate, considering that Ford engineered the spectacular vehicle that was bound for off-road glory, and it is highly capable, incredibly capable, right You know, right off the showroom floor. It is, it'll do crazy things, but it's so daggone hard to clean. So stick around, watch this video, and I'm gonna show you guys where uh, all the problems arise and, and why it's just such a pain in the butt to clean these things. Okay, so as we begin, we can see that this thing has a very square body design. It, it looks fantastic. Not sure how the vehicle could look any better. It's, they, they have really thought it out. It's got the round headlights like the old school Broncos and International Scouts. Absolutely love the front end. So what's the problem? The problem is that when Ford designed this thing, they put so many cracks and crevices that, I mean, you can see, I have washed this thing, I don't know, a hundred times and taking my fingers and got in each one of these slots with a, you know, a uh, microfiber cloth and cleaned them out and pressure washed it and done everything I can, sprayed a, a, a trim uh, coating on it, like from chemical guys, like the black trim shine and all that. I've sprayed that in there. And it just stays dirty from being exposed to the mud. Just you submerge it in mud one time, you will never clean it. So that's the first problem with the hood. You can see all those cracks. But the worst is in the back of the vehicle. Ignore my dirty garage. If you look in the back of the vehicle here, you can see that you have all of these crevices for mud to go. I have cleaned and washed, hand washed, pressure washed, done everything I can. And this still looks faded because the dirt, like, I don't know if the plastic is just very you know, permeable or porous, but it just collects mud and dirt. And then back here, you've got, you know, where your uh, cab mounts are, you've got these cracks in between the bumper. The first thing it will do is throw mud back in these cracks. And for the next 100 times you wash it, you will constantly wash mud out and it will, it will come over this bumper. I mean, you'll think you have it all, but there's places you can't see and you can't get to. So why in the world did Ford not just put a fender liner in here or a mud flap to block that mud? That would have been such an easy fix, and they did not do it. They just didn't do it. Now we can go to the interior, which is even worse. So you get into the interior of these things, okay? Now you've got this uh, carpet that you can unsnap and rubber washout floorboards, which theoretically, let me unsnap this so you guys can see, theoretically is a great idea. I mean, I can just pop this plug and spray everything out inside, right? Wrong. Why is that wrong? Because you have this little ditch, I'm going to call it, where mud will collect and just stay in there. I mean, you will never get it out. It, the water, let me turn on the light here. Not available using wireless. There we go. All right, so you will get in here with a hose and just trying, trying to rinse this out. The water, you know, this little ditch, little canal here doesn't connect. So the water and the mud will wash over this and stay in this little crack. And it will stay there. And you, you will never get it out. And the same thing for the outside when we were talking about the plastics. This rubber is very, like, porous. So you have to sit and scrub and scrub. And it will look faded forever after you take it in the mud one time. Now, to some of you, this may not be a big deal. But to me, it is an incredibly huge deal. Because I bought this thing wanting to go play in the mud, wanting to go, you know, and I'm on the East Coast. So I'm not blessed to have dry sand and all of that that doesn't just get everywhere. I mean, you can blow this hand out with air and all of that. And I've been out there. This thing has done serious off-roading. I have been out in uh, uh, Hurricane, Utah. I have been out in 
sand hollow. I have been all over the place in this Bronco in the sand, and it, it done terrific. And it was so much easier to clean up. Now, there is a lot of dust. you got to get out of your windows because if you get in the sand and you roll down your windows, it can scratch the glass. For those of you that didn't know, I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, it does do things like that. It does get in the intake and all that. But the sand was so much easier to deal with than the mud. The mud just collects. Now, I'm not sure if Jeeps are the same way and they're this hard to clean. But this thing has seen some serious, serious off-roading. I have taken this thing all over the eastern and southwestern United States in crazy places. And it has done phenomenal. But it's just so dang hard to clean. It makes you never want to go in the mud again. And I just can't understand why Ford made this thing, you know, designed it that way. They could have put the fender liners. They could have put mud flaps. They could have uh, used a different finish or coating that would repel the mud, like an oily-like type coating. And I've tried, you know, like I said, chemical guys. Uh, what's it called? Something black. Black on black, I think it is. I have tried... Uh, the SP1, I believe it is in the can that people spray on dirt bikes and ATVs. Now, it stays on there until it rains. When it rains a few times, it washes that coating off. Now, your plastics look dull and dirty again. So, I'm just going to advise you guys. If you take these things in the mud, they will do as good as you think they will do. But you'll never get it clean again. You never will. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I just wanted to take a few minutes to harp on that one simple yet huge problem with these new Ford Broncos and their design. Now, I'm not trying to make it sound like I hate this thing, right? Because I absolutely love it. It is the coolest vehicle that I've ever had. It has taken me places that I wouldn't have been able to go if I wouldn't have had it. So it's really awesome. But uh, let me know if you guys have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see me make. And there are also other things about this Bronco that I don't like. I can go over them in another video if you guys are interested. But that's just the biggest problem is just how hard it is to clean. But stay safe, take care, and until next time.